Hello, this video is about this clock. This design is a copy, all the exact same thing as Dylan Charlotte's design. Uh, the problem I had with his was the one-way clutch would only ever load on one pawl. So it would kind of bend that shaft and it put a lot of friction on the whole drivetrain. Even when changing one of the gear sets in the front here. And it would stop after a few hours. I got rid of the clutch. And I put what's called a maintaining power on it. It has a motor. I'm using the regular chain links with 40 tooth gears up there. And three of those chains. I have in the front, uh, what is that, a 20, a 36 tooth and a 12 tooth instead of the 40 and the eight. Two sets of those. I kept the gearing in the back the same, the 40 and the 24. I've added a lot of structural supports here because that was also part of the problem. All that weight was making things not straight, which would put a lot of friction on the shafts. I'm not really a fan of these little links here. But they're working. But I have the, I think it's called the Power Functions XL motor on there. You see the chain winds down around the weights and up. Oop, must have bumped it. And then it wraps around three uh, 16 tooth gears and then back down again on the just kind of like a placeholder and up around again it's it allows it to be rewound without losing power so if we take a I'll turn on the the motor here you can see it coming up and the other one's dropping This also seems to not drop as fast. I thought it would drop faster with my calculations of the gearing, but I was gone for 10 hours today and it hardly moved. Maybe halfway down. I would have been lucky to catch it before by the time I got home. No more clutch in there, it's just a straight through 12 length shaft. I'll have a, a drawing up linked in the description. Some stuff I added that won't be there, like those cross supports. I don't know how to put those in the program because they don't quite line up exactly in Lego in the Lego world but they line up just enough in real life to hold things together part of the problem was probably the old back plate I had wasn't very as flat as can be which also caused things to bend but yeah I'll put a uh, I'll put the file up. Maybe I'll link to some pictures too. Because I'll show a lot better detail on what's available here. Thank you. Okay, I have some quick afterthoughts on this. Uh, really about the metal parts that aren't uh, Lego at all. 
the weights it's all stainless washers and there's actually a tube inside there to keep everything centered I got that off McMaster I will link to those parts in the description I went stainless just because it's a little more dense than regular steel and I like stainless and then up here I was having a problem with this front beam that the pendulum mounts to it was actually pushing in that way squishing the gears so what I did is there's a piece of threaded rod there with some nuts and they are screwed out away from each other and there's some washers in there too to, to spread on the actual beams and not the pins I put a, one of these little pins with a stud in the front there I don't think you need it but I'm just anal to help center it also that top five by seven plate there you probably wouldn't need that I only have that in there because I didn't know if this motor would have the holding power it does and originally I had these ratchets in there just in case so you probably don't need that top plate I took these out because when sometimes when I hit this switch it goes the opposite way and it just tends to tear everything apart it doesn't just grind the gears it's it splits the whole mechanism that way so yeah I think that's all of my afterthoughts uh, two more afterthoughts here and this middle length of chain, I staggered that a half tooth off. I don't know why. I just figured maybe a little more strength. And I ordered 3,000 chain links. And I probably only used not even two-thirds of them. Maybe if yours is mounted a little higher. I'm six foot tall and this is pretty much eye level with me in the center where the hands are. So maybe if you mount it higher you can get away with more.